I like to spend a little bit of time with a rag getting the dirt from around the, the fuel pump opening. You can see how it collects into all these little small areas and we don't want that falling into the tank when we remove the pump. Now using your brass or aluminum punch, uh, be sure that you uh, tap the lock ring off. Won't create any sparks that way. And then we can remove the fuel pump from the tank. Now what I want to show you is this. Look at all of this crud. This is all over the inside of the tank. So you want to be sure that you do a really good job of cleaning the tank before you put your new fuel pump in or even take it to a radiator shop. Point is, get it really good and clean so that all of that stuff that's in the tank doesn't get all over the new pickup strainer and the new pump when we reinstall that. Well, I've got this tank back from the radiator shop. They did a really great job of cleaning this thing up, inside and the outside. So, next step, of course, would be to put in the new fuel pump. And uh, nice thing about these fuel pumps is you can't get them in wrong. You've probably noticed that there is a uh, locking tab and a little retainer right there. So all we have to do is seat the, get the seal seated, push it down into the retainer, and we'll reinstall the lock ring. Some late model GM vehicles are experiencing fuel pump problems that will either cause the vehicle not to run at all or just run intermittently. And this is because of a problem in the electrical connector. It seems that the pins are very small and because of vibration, they move around in there and they get hot. And this actually causes the plastic to melt in the connector as you can see here. And this results in a loose connection and therefore the pump either doesn't run or it's intermittent. Now the folks at AirTex have solved this problem by using a big GM style connector with big beefy connectors that won't get hot and won't move around, thus solving the problem. So when you install the AirTex fuel pump, you'll also be installing a new connector with color-coded wires, they match the wire on the vehicle, and even the butt connectors and everything you need comes in the kit to make the installation easy. Before I reinstall the tank, I want to point out the new electrical connector that we put on here. Remember when we splice this in, notice I've got tape all the way back up into the original equipment uh, harness so you want to be sure you protect your job from you know the weather and moisture and stuff. Great, the pressure is right within specifications for this particular vehicle. We did a pressure check through a new clean inline filter, good electrical diagnostics, and now besides the new fuel pump and pickup strainer, a clean fuel tank. We'll have no comebacks with this job.